Hello friends, welcome to this new session. In today's session, we will see how you can transfer your Docker images from JFrog Artifactory to Azure Container Registry. So to start with this session, there are a couple of prerequisites. One is you should have a JFrog account and you should have JFrog Artifactory. So you can see here, like I have this repository here, hello world repo minus Docker. So this Docker repository is there in JFrog. And then you should also have Azure Container Registry created. So I have created this one, JFrog to Azure Container Registry. Now you can go to Azure DevOps and I can show you the DevOps pipeline which I have made here. I'll walk you through the steps as well as the variables which we have to use. So let's go through this pipeline first. This triggers for the main branch. It uses a variable library, Artifactory. I will show you this library as well. And then this pipeline is running on my self-hosted agent, but you can run on Microsoft hosted agent as well. The first task is Docker build, which will build your application. And it requires some of the parameters to be passed like container registry, which is Artifactory registry service connection. This will be a service connection to your Artifactory and the image repository. Uh, the command is build and the Docker file path and the tag how you want to tag it. The next task is to install JFrog CLI and the next task is to push this image to Artifactory and we'll pass these parameters for the docker push command to Artifactory and then we'll try to pull the same image back from Artifactory passing these parameters and then we'll tag that downloaded image so that it's ready for Azure registry. And the last step will be to push this image, which we just now tagged in the previous task, to push that image to Azure Registry. So the other task here, if you see, this is optional to push image to Artifactory. You might have pushed the image using some other pipeline and you may just want to pull that image back when running this pipeline. I'm just showing both, but it will work if you move this particular task in some other pipeline let it be pushed there an image is already available in artifactory and you just want to pull it down then also you can do the same thing i will show you the tagging part so docker tag now this is the tag which is created when i create image for artifactory but the same tag cannot be used to push for azure so that's why i'm tagging it to use Azure container registry URL and whatever folder structure I have there so my repository there is different hello world repo minus Azure and again inside that I am creating this uh, folder structure and the build number I am using as tag for that image so this is a tag command I have to run to create a new tag for the same image now let's go through this library where we have defined all the variables so here is this artifactory variable group which I have created and these are the variables. So artifactory registry service connection is docker artifactory and this service connection you have to create. I will show you how you create this service connection. And same way artifactory service connection which is basic auth artifactory you have to create one. Then docker repository name you can give whatever name you want docker file path wherever your docker file will be image name so my jfrog artifactory is having this url subudir.jfrog.io and this is the repository and i want to move all the images under a folder hello world so that they are separated then i can have multiple folders under the same repository then image repository just the repository name and the folder name where you want to keep your docker images image tag I am just using the build number which is created by DevOps when it builds source repo will be again the hello world repo docker same folder and target repo will be hello world repo minus docker slash hello world now let me show you some of the service connections which we use so first is basic auth artifactory you have to create this one and it's a basic authentication where you will provide the URL for your artifactory and username password you can verify it and save it second is 
docker artifactory where again you will create a connection for docker using the docker registry username password and give it a name and then save it also you need to create a azure service connection so that the pipeline can connect to azure container registry here you select azure container registry option select your subscription select the container registry name which you have created and give some name to this service connection and grant access permission to pipelines and then save it so these three service connections are required when you run this pipeline now we'll go back to pipeline and run the pipeline to see how it works so this is the pipeline run Okay, the pipeline has executed successfully so if you see the build number for this pipeline is 2nd of April.4 and it starts the checking out of the project then it does the docker build then installs the jfrog CLI pushes the image to artifactory and you can verify if I go here and refresh and you can see here so 2nd of April.4 this is uploaded and then we pull the image back from artifactory we tag that image and after tagging I am just trying to show what type of image is there so these are images created then push the image to Azure and if you go to Azure is my repository refresh here so you see 2nd of April.4 so it is uploaded here so you can see it is easy to move or transfer the docker image from artifactory to Azure container is free there are different ways to do it this is one of the way I have shown here so I hope uh, it will help you and uh, I will see you in next session thank you